Hello everyone, welcome to the part uh, 13 of this tutorial. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to design uh, the shopping cart we have started yesterday. So if we check what we have yesterday, uh, nothing too much crazy. We can add, for uh, example, some apple and one tomato. And now this is what we have. The plan is to transform this to this uh, in this video. Uh, and also, as you can see here, we're going to have the product count. So the number of items uh, uh, we want to buy for each. And that's going to change the price here in the right. And also the checkout is going to be the, the total amount uh, you need to pay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating uh, one of the cards. So we're going to create a new component called card item. And here that's going to be uh, one, finally one, uh, one of the item here in the shopping cart. So that's going to be a component. We're going to call that cart item. This one going to take a box from React Native Design Utility. After that, here, uh, what I want to already do is we're going to destruct something from the props called product. So that's going to be the props we're going to pass. And we're going to have some uh, box. We're going to wrap the stuff. So for the first thing, the box here, if we look back to the preview, we need to have the image. So we're going to take from React Native the image component. And inside this box, we're going to have image. And the source is going to be equal to the product, that image URL. So as you know, inside the product model, we have the image URL, which is finally the source of it. After that, I want this box to have a flex of 0.3 and also I want the parent to make sure we have a, a row like it's a um, uh, flex direction row. And I want also every element to be center. I do some stuff here because I think that's going to make more sense when I'm going to show. After that, I want to have a box and now here, just for now, I'm going to have a text with product that name like that. Now I want to take this car item. And going back to the shopping cart store uh, screen, and I want to import it. But before this, we're gonna change the code for, for this stuff. So here, now I don't want to return this kind of stuff here. I want to return now a flat list uh, from not native gesture but React Native. And now I'm gonna render some data, and my data gonna be equal to my product we have from yesterday. So product. After that, my render item, I'm going to call a function for this, so a method. So render item, where here we can destructure the item value. I'm going to return the card item we just create, and the product is going to be equal to this item we just pass. After that, we need the key extractor method. So key extractor, we're going to call this, this that key extractor. So key extractor gonna take an item and remember we always need the string. I know this is already a string, but we're gonna just make sure like that. And now I can delete this stuff we have done yesterday here. So we're gonna go with that and see what happened. So when I have no item, I get car empty. And when I add an item, we get text is not defined. So I make a mistake, I forget to import a text. If I reload, and now I click on one of the Apple, nothing appears. One of the things first uh, I figure out uh, as the problem is the fact that the, um, uh, the image need to have some size here first to make sure that you don't gonna bring that thing. So I'm gonna go to the style, uh, I'm gonna import a style sheet and I'm gonna say EMG. EMG here, I'm going to put a width of 100% and I know it's not the best, but this is the one I figure out, height of 100. So I don't want him to be to be bigger than the height of 100. Then I'm going to put a style equal to this image. And I want the resize mod to be content. So now just by doing this, what we're going to do 
see nothing is still happening and why that it's now it's because of this center so i'm going to remove the center from that and i'm going to just put it inside this uh, car empty and this car empty going to have a flex of one and why i do the flex one is because if i don't the car empty don't going to be in the middle but now if i do this we have the apple right there so now it's pretty big okay it's pretty big but the thing it get big it's because the fact that we say flex 0.3 but it don't see nothing else so finally this 0.3 don't mean nothing You're almost gonna take everything so here first i want to have some padding i'm gonna set padding of x mount and i want to have the background color to be white after that this box here gonna have a flex of one so take the the full space you still have and i want a padding left of um I think if I go to my team in my space, we have a 2x small, we have x small, so we can say x small, so for 8. And I think that's why we don't see it, it's because I say nent. So now if I do this, we're gonna see now red apple like that with the title. So now if we look back to the preview, we need to have the red apple name, the kilogram, and a button remove. For the red apple, so what I want to do, it's this thing gonna be a box, this thing gonna be its own box, inside a box. So a box with two box. So right there, we're gonna have a box with a text product name. Also, we're gonna need to have the at, dollar sign product the kg price by kilogram like that also this text need to be gray dark and the size x small and the title here gonna need to be bold because our, we want it to be a bit bigger after that i'm gonna just put a, some margin bottom of x small so if you x small it's eight and i'm gonna have after that another box and inside this box now, I need to have a button. So that's going to be a touchable opacity. And I'm going to put this button right inside the box. And why I do this, it's now I'm going to put a box and a box inside that because I want to um, control my design just with this, just with my uh, utility library. So here first, it need to be direction row because we have left and right. So the icon, uh, the this uh, trash icon and the remove. And we want to make sure that this is center. And now I need to import the feather library from Expo Vector Icon to get the same icon we have before. So that's gonna come from Expo Vector Icon. Name is trash2. Color is gonna be equal to the team. So team, we don't get the autocomplete, so we're gonna import it. So team from constant that team so we want the color of green and the size we're gonna go with team dot text that size size and I want um, I think the size I want it's um, it's gonna be so if we look back to the size we want a small because we want 14 so like that and now here I'm going to have a text where I'm going to say remove. And this one going to have the size of small. Color is going to be gray dark. And we're going to have some margin left of 5. So we're going to check what happened with just this. So if I add an item, you see now, just by doing this, we get that. So as you can see, this box the flex direction row so left and right we say center after that we want this feather icon here to have the same size of the text so 14. the text gonna have a grid art um, color and some margin left here nothing too much crazy here now what i would i uh, would like to have now it's this box where we have the quantity and this other box here 
where we're gonna have the text with the the the, the total price of this item. So the way we're gonna handle that, it's gonna be here. So inside the, the, the row, we're gonna add now a new box. And that's gonna need to be a button. So what I mean, it's this square need to be a button because later we want to have the same animation as that. But that's gonna be inside the other video. So now inside this box, I'm gonna have my touchable opacity and I'm gonna have another box. This box need to have a width of 45 pixel and a height of 35 pixel. I want the text uh, align center, align item center, just a fire content center, so I can just put center. And the style, we're gonna have a border width of one and border color of team that color the gray lighter. Yeah. Like that and I want inside that a text which is gonna be bold and now that's gonna be here the product that card quantity so the value we have inside the product model so you know the product model we have this uh, card quantity so now if I click we get the box right there but it's really in the right side and we see here we don't have any any uh, border radius so what we can do for the border radius is just say radius and I want a 6 of radius and I think gray lighter is too light so if we jump gray lighter we have gray light which is going to be a bit uh, a bit better to see <laughs> And now here inside my box, I just want to make sure that I have a center and I want to have some margin right because if not, you're going to um, be too too uh, close to the uh, the price. So if I do this, now you see, we get the one here. So that's going to be a button. Now last box. We're going to have here a text. Or we're going to have a dollar sign. And uh, for now, we're gonna just say uh, 499 because we don't have the function yet right for that. So now we should be good just by doing a plus. We see we have this 499. And if I have an, a, a tomato, we have tomato and like that. Now, before going too much further with the functionality here, I want to continue with design and I want to do this checkout button. So the way I have handled this, it's first by creating a function called render checkout VTM. Here, what I'm gonna do, it's I'm gonna destructuring the shopping cart store from the props. Inside the shopping cart, if you remember, shopping cart store, we have this uh, total product will give us the length. So here, what I'm gonna do is total product equals zero. So if the total product equals zero, I want to return no checkout button. I just want to return empty card. Else, here, I'm gonna want to return uh, this uh, the button I'm gonna create. So we're gonna first add a box with a touchable opacity inside that. So touchable opacity. We need to import it from React Native. So this touchable opacity gonna have a box inside him. And the box is gonna have an eye of 45 pixel, a BG of gray. I want everything inside that to be center. And I want him to have some border radius of six. After that, inside that, I'm gonna put a text called uh, see, checkout. And this text needs to be bold and need to have the color of white. Now I need to pass the render checkout right there. Now if I save, the beauty of having the flat list and the button is if I click the plus, that go right away at the bottom. But you see here, what I want to do is having like this white border before this checkout button. So the way you do this, it's the parent here should have the BG white. And it also should have a sampling of XML. 
just by doing this, you're gonna see how much that's gonna change this button. So now if I click, you see now we have the button right there inside the middle, in the middle finally of um, of um, uh, of his parent. Now after that, at the checkout, but also if we look, we have here a price tag. The way I want to handle this is because I want it to always be in the right. And if you use um, justify between, the thing gonna happen, it's the, the text now gonna be in the left and now I'm gonna be anymore in the middle. So the way you handle this, it's I'm gonna make use of a position relative to my box. And this new box gonna have a position absolute because now I want to control where it's gonna be. This one's gonna have also a BG of gray dark to be a bit darker. Gonna have the same radius as the other one, so six. Gonna have his element inside him center, and I want him to have some the same padding as we have here. After that, inside that we're gonna have a text where we're gonna have a color of white. And uh, what we're gonna do now is if we look to the theme for the text size, we have the uh, x small as ten, so this is the one we're gonna use. So size. Small and for now, we're gonna say uh, random price of I don't know, like it. Uh, well, what 815? So, 8.15. So, if I do this, what's gonna happen is if you know how position absolute work, it now we get it from here because now the position absolute get override because of this center. But for us, we want to manage it to be always in the right. So, if we say right zero. The thing about the right zero is now this right zero gonna go too much in the right. You see, it touch the side. So what I want to do, it's using the same space as, as my X small. So I want to say theme and I need to import it. So theme from constant theme. And now here what I'm gonna do it's that's going to be team that space that x small just to have the same same uh, uh, number as the other so now if i click here now you see it's right there in the middle this is what we want so first we're going to manage this price here of a product so the way we're going to handle that is going to be really simple that's the beauty of uh, mobex so if we go to the module of the price we have here the price, so that will, that will be the uh, single price finally. But here I want to have the total price of this item. So a total price is going to be equal to the sell that card quantity multiplied by the sell that unity price. But I want also this to be inside a two fix, so this way it's going to always be uh, the way we want for a uh, dollar. So now what I can do, it's inside my card item. Now I can change this 499 to be product the total price. So now if I put one item at 190, we get 190. But if I put three of them, we get 570. And the same for this one. If I put three at 125, we get 3.75. So you see it's really nice. Now I want to change that for the, the shopping cart total price. So the way we handle this, it's if we go back to the shopping cart store here, I'm gonna have a new view called total amount, so a new computed view. And this one gonna be sell that product. So remember products, it's an array, okay? So we can say sell that product that reduce. Inside the reduce, the way you do a sum, it's you have an accumulator and the current. And this thing you want to do a certain plus of the current and you want to start at zero. And finally, I want to do two fix to be two to be the price. Here the current is gonna be one product. And inside the one product, we have the total price already calculated by the product we just created here. But this thing, it's a string. So if you want to know what I mean by it's a string, if you put the two fix, two fix, a return a string. Take a number, but return a string. So now what I need to do, it's I need to parse int this value, okay? 
The thing is, if I force in, we're gonna have a, a problem here. So I'm gonna take this total amount now, going back inside the shopping cart screen, and I want to change this 815 to be the uh, shopping cart store that total amount. If I do this, we're gonna see a problem, okay? So example, I have one uh, Apple, it's 190, but now we get one. And why that? It's because of the parse in. We add a float number. So what we need is a parse float. So now if I use a parse float like that, and I add one Apple, my price is 190. So 190. If I have five Apple, my price is 950. If I have, I don't know, like a three, a four tomato, so that's gonna give us a, an, a five dollar more, so we get fourteen fifty. And now this is managed. Now the only thing we can finish is the remove. You see here the remove. We want to be able to remove really, really easy. We have already the function. So if we jump back to the model, we have this function called remove from car. If we go back to the remove uh, the car item. Here, we're gonna add to the touchable opacity where we have the remove text, product that remove from core. This is the really something I rely about Mobex is the fact that now each of your model can add its own logic. So you see now I can click remove. Uh, so do I have a bug? Product remove from card. Mm -hmm. Okay, something it's really strange. Okay, so now looks like what I pen. So the remove work, but the shopping cart screen don't have an observable a observer. So you see. The problem is this one don't observe any change, so we need to pass it. So we're gonna pass observer from React Native, and now just by adding that, just by adding this now, if I jump back here, and now I click remove. Now something is really wrong with the stuff I have here, so I need to check. Uh, I don't understand. Okay. It's really, really strange. So what I think happened. Oh, I think it's just my debugger. I'm going to stop the debug. I think it's the, just my computer is really, really slow. Yeah. Oh, one of the thing also is a flat list. Inside the flight list, you can pass extra data. So extra data. You know, if we put product, I think now that's gonna fix it. Just because the flight list, it's kind of shallowing stuff. So it work, but it's pretty strange. No, no, it work. Yeah, so for this video, uh, that's gonna be done. I'm gonna fix it in the next one. And in the next one, I want to have uh, some animation. So when I remove, I want to don't be that kind of stuff. And I want to fix this. Uh, when I click outside, I want to be able to um, remove this um, <coughs> this stuff. I don't want it to keep like that. So I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna talk in the next one. Bye, everyone.